The Culinary Union holding demonstrations today as workers continue to fight for new contracts. Now, this is the latest negotiation involving around 7,000 members at more than a dozen casinos on the Las Vegas Strip as well as downtown. 8 News Now anchor Sasha Loftus spoke with workers and union leaders today at the picket. She joins us now live tonight with more. Sasha? Denise, dozens of those workers marched here in front of the Sahara earlier this evening, calling for those new contracts. Now, union leaders say they want those at 19 properties here in the valley to get the same deals as others have gotten these past few months. Passionate chants as workers call for change. We want our contract. Dozens marching in front of Sahara and the Strat as contract negotiations continue between the Culinary Union Body, Body, and 19 different properties on the Strip and downtown. Every day we're tired, we're getting overloaded with work. Union leaders say 7,000 have been waiting on new contracts since June. In the last round of negotiations we've seen these past few months. These workers deserve the same contracts as the rest of the workers on the Strip. The last big deals were made just ahead of a strike deadline in November for 35,000 union members at Caesars, MGM Resorts, and Wynn. No contract! Culinary Union Secretary Treasurer Ted Papa George says these current negotiations are similar, citing demands for higher pay, better workplace safety, and protections against advanced technology at properties. Visitation's up, room rates are through the roof. They're doing very well, but they forget that the workers, they can't do it without the workers. Workers that tell us they're here to simply fight for a better future. If we don't have the contract, we don't have future, we don't have our families set up. Now the strike deadline for these latest negotiations is February 2nd at 5 a.m. That's just about a week ahead of the Super Bowl. Now the union says they plan to hold several picket events before that date. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. Now, the union has made several other deals in the past few weeks, including Waldorf Astoria a week ago, and then they struck a new contract with Trump Hotel just yesterday.